This is a quick outline of the basics of the cardiac cycle, trying to relate the electrical events to the mechanical events. So the electrical events are those that are occurring on the ECG. So at the top here we have the ECG and we have the variety of waves representing the sum of all the activity of the heart um, in terms of depolarization and repolarization. Then we have the mechanical events. So the mechanical events are those that are occurring in the myocardial contractile cells and they're either going to be contracting or relaxing. Okay, related to the terms systole for contraction and diastole for relaxation. We're looking at atria and ventricle. So we are starting the whole cardiac cycle out with the atrial contraction. So we have atrial systole first, so the atria contracts, and then the atria relaxes. Noting that at the same time the atria is relaxing, the ventricle is contracting, and then the ventricle relaxes. So we have atrial systole and diastole, and then we have ventricular systole and then diastole. Remembering that these mechanical events occurring due to muscle contraction, the cardiac muscle cells contracting, is in response to an electrical event that is occurring in those cells. So the starting off here, we have the P wave of the electrocardiogram, and it is representing atrial depolarization, which then leads to atrial contraction. The QRS includes atrial repolarization and ventricle depolarization. The atrial repolarization is not seen in here because the ventricle depolarization occurs at the same time. But atrial repolarization is then going to lead to the relaxation of the atria and the ventricular depolarization will lead to the contraction of the ventricle. The ventricle then repolarizes, which causes it to relax, and you end up with ventric ventricular diastole. So you go through the atrial cycles first, and then the ventricular cycles, atrial diastole overlapping with ventricle systole. Remembering that the electrical events, the ECG, lead to the mechanical events of muscle contraction, categorized as either systole or diastole.